Good morning, Marathon. It's Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. I'm Matthew, and you're watching TNN. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now back to you. Please be seated. Fan cloth orders will arrive in three weeks. Thank you for ordering Marathon High School Apparel. You can pre-order new MHS long sleeve shirts and masks starting today. Order forms are available outside Dr. Bellotti's room. National Art Honor Society is beginning their recruitment of new members. If you love art and are a sophomore, junior, or senior, speak to or email Ms. Farisi. It's that time of year again. Square One art projects begin next week and will be due on September 30th. You can participate even if you do not have art. Just ask your teacher for a form. Your art on various items can make a great gift and this fundraiser supports our art program. Juniors and seniors interested in earning the scholar designation on your diploma must have a passing EOC score on geometry, biology, and US history. If you're interested in taking one of these EOCs next month, See Mrs. Rodriguez before Friday. PSAT for 10th and 11th graders will be on October 14th. PSAT guides will be given out in English classes. Please keep your, these guides. Your teachers may use them in class to help prepare you for the test. Remember, the PSAT can earn you a concordant math score in one of your graduation requirements. If you need to speak with a guidance counselor, go to the school webpage and click on the link titled, How to Reach My School Counselor. Just follow the directions from there. MHS will host the ASVAB test on October 29, 2020. Any 11th or 12th graders interested in taking the ASVAB should add their name to the sign-up sheet on Mrs. Grostefan's door. The Algebra 1 EOC will be held September 29th and 30th. Both A and B students test on both days. If you're taking this test, you should report to school on both days. FSA 10th grade ELA retakes begin soon. A-day students test on October 2nd, 8th, and 6th, and 8th. B-day students test on October 1st, 5th, and 9th. This week has been designated Celebrate Freedom Week. Our state asks that we recite an excerpt from the preamble of our Declaration of Independence. This activity will be held directly following these announcements. Attention staff and students, this week begins our sports contest on campus. Due to COVID-19, we are limiting tickets to two tickets per player for indoor sports and four tickets per player for outdoor sports. These include coaches, cheerleaders, and pep band. There may be some tickets available if they are not all used by an, athletic, an athlete's family. We will let you know if this is the case. All the tickets are $5 each. Also, masks are required while on, while on campus watching sport events. We will not be selling concessions at the volleyball games, but we have, will have limited options at the football games where you can remove your mask to eat or drink, then have them put back on. They will be des designated seating areas, clearly marked in groups of two for indoor sports and groups of four for outdoor sports. Hopefully many of our sporting events will be online. Information will be coming later on this. That's all the no news we have for you today, Fins. Stay tuned for the rest reciting of the preamble. I'm Matthew, and you've been watching DNN. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed.